please go get your camping badge or whatever we're doing here. So, does uh, anyone know anything about setting up a campsite or maybe a uh, lifelong friendship? Or... Not me. I I'm only here because my mom said exposure to fresh air and other kids my age would help me. <gasps> I'm good. The key to a cozy campfire is location. I think we should set camp here. We're losing daylight. Cat, you find the flint. Molly, you gather firewood. And Libby, <laughs> stay up, right? Mm. Mm. Um. Scratch! You can't eat those berries. They're poisonous. You know I'm already dead, right? Oh, right. So how's the friend hunt going? Not bad. Mm. These scorecards have everything I'm looking for in a best friend. Creativity, smarts, generosity, a deep passion for fuzzy socks, leadership, and most importantly, the X Factor. Wow, that is pretty... Oh, you know what? I don't care. I totally won't be scaring you guys later, so don't suspect anything. Okay, bye. Wait, don't you want to know what the X Factor is? Nope. Well, it's indescribable anyway. Who's got the goods? Do you have what it takes to lead us? Who's got the goods? Do you have passion in your heart? Who's got the goods? Can you parkour across the forest? We need a hero. Tough break, Mal. I'm not not really great with the feeling stuff, so I'm just gonna give you one of these. I guess it's just us. Anyone know how to use a table saw? <laughs> Daryl, not now with the obnoxitron. It's not me. <gasps> Patty! Sorry we're late. Some of us don't travel as fast as we used to. Then we'd better get to it. And uh, hey, Scratch. Told ya. And this is the part where I go like, bam! Told ya, then a bam! Told ya! It's got another three minutes. Give, give what you can. Just a couple hours of your day can help make the world a better place. Lend a hand. We don't mind a little drool, cause there's nothing better than building all together. Oh, Libby! Come donate. Now let's get back to work. Just give. Grab a nail gun and go nuts. Shout out to the guy who brought donuts. Let's make a better place to live. All we need to do is give. What do you think, Patty? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, we tried to make it match the original as close as we could. No, not this. This. <laughs> this is the bright and I remember. Thank you, dear. Well, Miss McGee, I must admit I'm impressed. You brought the whole town together and got the band shell built. So, who's going to play it? Oh, oh no, okay, I didn't think about that. Um... <laughs> Not you, Daryl! He's so good on that thing! The ghost and Molly McGee! That wasn't even scary! Too many talking heads, not enough severed heads! Yeah, and those ghost stereotypes? Answer me this, Molly, do I talk like this all the time? Ah, get out of the house! Sometimes you do, though. Well, that's just for effect, but... We could probably make a better movie ourselves! <gasps> that is a great idea! Let's make a horror movie! I mean, we've got a real ghost. I'll do it, and it'll be the performance of an after-lifetime. I will direct, obviously. Libby can write the script, and Daryl, you can film it on your phone. I didn't get the phone with six cameras for no reason. Let's make some movie magic. 
Are we sure Libby's not a ghost because her script is spooky accurate? Uh-huh, put this on. Ugh, so degrading. Great work! No, Libby! Your script's great! The set's even better! Now, try on your costume. But that's for Angela. Yes, and who better to bring Angela to life than you, the writer who created her, right? Also, you're the only person available. Oh, no, no, no. Molly, the very thought of people watching me on screen in HD makes me... Ah, fine. Molly, where do you want the blood? Okay, um, do, do we really need blood in a ghost movie? You know what? I'll surprise you. <sighs> Boo. Who's playing the ghost? Oh, him? That's our Canadian cousin, Carl. Yeah, I'm the ghost. Hey. He's visiting. Okay, gather around, crew, gather around. <clears throat> we are here for one reason and one reason only. To make the scariest ghost movie ever. Sure, we're just kids with a camera phone and cardboard props, but we've got something Hollywood doesn't. We've got to be home for dinner, so let's get shooting! <laughs> My bad. If someone's feeling the ground, they'll just shoot around her. There's no time to waste. Action! Take after take. Line. They're gonna make movie magic. You're out! No, seriously, we're trying to play a game here. Get out. The Ghost and Molly McGee! We gotta fix this situation because I am not losing Grandma Nin. You mean her snacks? Or her snacks! Of course her snacks are delicious! So what's the plan? We put him through a terrifying ordeal that will bond him for life. Or we could gently remind them that they love each other? I mean, if you want to do the least fun way to do that, then yeah, well, let's give it a whirl. Uh, I think it's pronounced bat mitzvah. That is correct, Molly. Ha, knew it. For months I've been studying Hebrew, practicing my Torah portion, and trying on dresses which have given me stress hives and <laughs> contact hives. Ugh. But it'll all be worth it, because while I'm a girl today, on Saturday I shall become a woman. Okay, well, where do the bats come in? Ow! These bat mitzvah parties are insane. An ice volcano and hot fudge lava? And is that atomic pink? Scratch, this is way bigger than I thought. It's as big as a wedding. A sweet 16. Our Christmas anniversary. It's my best friend's bat mitzvah. A magical Jewish soiree. It's my best friend's bat mitzvah. Oh, Scratch, prepare to be blown away. I can see the mashed potato bar now. Sparkling ball gowns and gold limousines, lippy themed decorations. Every table has a beautiful centerpiece worth more than a small island nation. Endless buffets. Rapids displays. We're showered with gifts as we dance. They'll have 
have fountains of not only chocolate, but also ketchup, gravy, and ranch. And my best friend's bat mitzvah. Celebrity DJs play. And my best friend's bat mitzvah. Uh, that's it. I'm converting today. It's my best oh, friend's bat mitzvah. So beautiful, you'll shed a tear. She's telling the world she's no longer a girl. Oh, he's so cute when he's sleeping. Wake up, Scratch! <laughs> What's going on? It is Saturday! And not just any Saturday, I have no plans! No chores, no homework, no responsibilities! You know what that means? Don't care. We are gonna have the most awesome best friends day that Brighton has ever seen! Just chime in when you hear something you wanna do. We could start out with the super happy picnic at the park, then hit up the aquarium and watch him feed his shark. It's sunny, it's Saturday, let's go out and make this an awesome best friend's day. There's archery, calligraphy, ecology, and more. All the thrilling possibilities are right outside our door. There's auctioneering, volunteering, human bioengineering. Look, the day is disappearing from us, girls, let's go! We could float in silence in a deprivation tank, or hunt some evil pirates and make them walk the plank. No to all of that. No? You can't say no to everything. I absolutely can. Just did. That's a terrible way to go through life. Or death. But we can't all be so positive, constantly saying yes like you all the time. Oh, that's different, okay? Because yes is good. Oh, is it? It's good? Yeah. Well, I guess you'd like it then if you could only say yes? Yes! I, I would love it. Would you hate it if you could only say no? No, I would not. I bet you would too. All right, you want to put your money where your mouth is? Uh-huh. Great. Then I am going to set a curse on us, Molly McGee. Well, until midnight, one of us can only say no. And the other can only say yes. Okay, okay, let's test this out. Scratch, do you want to do nothing today? You! I see what you did there. Okay, so I guess my answer is no. <laughs> yes! The Ghost and Molly McGee! My fellow Brightonians, unveiling this statue is my proudest moment as your mayor. Feast your eyes on Ezekiel Tugbottom. Okay, not as proud as I was hoping. Oh, yeah! Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm inspired. Whoa, what's the big deal? I mean, why do we care about this guy? Well, every Brightonian knows the legend of Ezekiel Tugbottom, hero of Brighton. He saved the town from the biggest tornado ever seen. Plus, he was best friends with a grizzly bear. If you'd stayed awake while we were in history class, you'd know it too. And miss my 1 p.m. nap? I'd rather die. Again. <laughs> now, everyone, if you'll move over to the park, the post-unveiling potluck will begin shortly. Except you, Todd. No, cups don't count as a contribution. They didn't count at my eighth birthday party, and they're not gonna count now. Aww. Oh, finally! Potluck time, baby! I wonder what the great Ezekiel Tugbottom would say if he could see this now. Well, the nose isn't quite right, but overall, not bad. Really captured my rugged yet indomitable spirit. Hmm? Well, mm, maybe it's a... Uh, Ezekiel Tugbottom? In the ectoplasm, honorary city council member, three-time winner of the Farm Times Golden Husk Award, and Brighton's Burliest Man, 1871 through 76. <laughs> Okay, Molly, play cool. Play cool. You got this. Don't go full fangirl. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm standing next to the Ezekiel Tugbottom. Is this real? Oh no, I'm talking about him in the third person, and he's right here. How do I stop? I'm still talking. Oh, <laughs> please, Miss McGee. Friends call me Tug. <gasps> Big name status. Well, potluck was a bust. They ran out of food. Scratch! Look who it is! Some it's guy Ezekiel brought Tugbottom himself! Whoa, 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 whoa! This is the guy everyone's all excited about? Indeed. And thank you for coming to the big unveiling, uh, stretch, was it? <laughs> Always nice to see a fan. Oh, here you go. Bottoms up. Memoir of a hero. 
a Tug Bottom Press exclusive. Thanks for the support, Stitch. This can't be the right guy. I know him. In the ghost world, we call him Tug the Tornado. Because he fought a tornado? No, because he's a blowhard. He's always bragging. He's always acting like he's better than everybody else. Scratch, he is better than everyone. He's a hero. OK, fine. Don't believe me. Have a great time. I'm just going to sit back and see how long your little love fest lasts. Before you hit the wall. I'm sorry about him. Mr. Tugbottom, I mean, Tug, I'd love to give you a tour of the town you so generously saved. Nothing would make me happier. The Ghost and Molly McGee! Oh, I love Christmas. It's the most unhappifying time of the year. And it's our first Christmas in Brighton! Ah! Could this possibly get any better? Oh, it can, and it will! Tomorrow's the cookie bake-off. They start with gingerbread, then work their way to snickerdoodles. The sassiest of all cookies. Welcome, everyone, to the annual Snowflake Celebration. And may I add that, as your mayor, I personally made sure that our tree is a full two inches taller than perfect boards. all the money on that stupid two-inch taller tree. I'm sorry, everyone, but the snowflake celebration, like our town's happiness, is canceled. No, 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 this can't be. I feel the season of joy turning into despair. Will there still be cookies? I mean, probably, somewhere. Oh, okay, then I'm good. Well, I'm not, and neither is Brighton. We've got to find a way to fix this. And I found it in record time, too. Let's go! Yeah! Mr. Davenport, will you donate your time, money, and resources to save the Snowflake celebration and unhappify your fellow Brightonians? Interesting question. And here's one for you. Will this make me trend? Oh, yes, sir. On both coasts and everywhere in between. Okay, then you know what? I'm gonna give you a hard no on this charity thing. What? Wait, what? I've got a brand to protect. Davenport's department store does not hand out free joy, especially this time of year. Like my father used to say, Christmas is a time to make money, not marry. But, but it's a Brighton tradition. You should listen to her daddy. Andrea, you agree with me? I was gonna be this year's snowflake queen. Like mom was at my age, but without the celebration, that can't happen. Oh, Button, you can pick any crown you want from our Halloween surplus. We'll just stage a photo and put it on your socials. It'll be fun. Oh, I can't believe he turned us down. This injustice will not stand. Was injustice really the... Do not question my righteous anger! There's got to be a way to change Mr. Davenport's mind. Ah, humbug. That's it? A Christmas carol! We'll scare Mr. Davenport into the sponsorship with a Scrooge-like intervention. That could be good for a laugh. All right, I'm in. <laughs> Can't believe you're all mine. Uh, you and me for all time. Uh, I'm 